Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Now, in the last few minutes, we've heard that the police investigation into the Grenfell Tower fire is considering bringing charges against Kensington and Chelsea Council and the Housing Management Association that managed the block. Well, our correspondent Tom Burridge is here with me now. Tom, tell us more. Rita, the Metropolitan Police say that this is one of the largest criminal investigations outside counter-terrorism operations that they've encountered. They've seized a huge amount of material, spoken to a large number of witnesses already. And what they're doing now is they're updating us and they're saying that as of now, they have enough evidence to believe that both Kensington and Chelsea Council and the tenant management organisation may have committed a corporate manslaughter. Now, this is not a charge against anyone. Uh, under the legislation, no one will actually be arrested. Um, but interviews will take in due course. Not soon. More work is need needed to be done, say the police. And we still have no response yet from either Kensington and Chelsea Council or the Tenancy Management Organisation. OK. Tom, many thanks. Breaking news tonight over the Grenfell Tower disaster. The police say they have reasonable grounds to suspect Kensington and Chelsea Council and the authorities' tenant management organisation who may have committed corporate manslaughter. At least 80 people lost their lives in the fire. Scotland Yard said that a senior representative from each organisation would be interviewed as part of their ongoing criminal investigation. And they're still considering a full range of other charges. Our senior Home Affairs correspondent, Simon Israel, has this. Six weeks on from the worst fire in the UK since the war, and the search for answers is beginning to come into focus. The tower was owned by Kensington and Chelsea Borough Council, but managed by a non-profit company called Kensington and Chelsea Tenant management organization. In the latest letter to residents, the Metropolitan Police has revealed dramatic developments in their criminal investigation. After an initial assessment of that information, the officer leading the investigation has today notified Royal Borough of Kensington and Chelsea and the Kensington and Chelsea Tenant Management Organisation that there are reasonable grounds to suspect that each organisation may have committed the offence of corporate manslaughter under the Corporate Manslaughter and Corporate Homicide Act 2007. The way the people and families of the deceased have been treated is disgusting. Both organisations have come under sustained criticism from the day the fire happened. Residents accused the council of ignoring their concerns about safety and of cutting costs in the multi-million pound refurbishment of the tower that was completed only last year. The TMO has been accused of ignoring its own residents and even its own board members. The MP for Kensington was on the board when she was a local councillor. Of course it could have been avoided. It could have been avoided. It should have been avoided, but it certainly was preventable. Both the council and the TMO have stressed their main role is to help the residents recover and have said they are cooperating fully with all investigations. Our residents deserve answers about the Grenfell Tower fire and the police investigation will provide these. We fully support the Metropolitan Police investigation and we will cooperate in every way we can. And Simon joins us live now. Um, pretty significant. It is, John, very significant, actually. Let me explain what this corporate manslaughter investigation is trying to find out, really. And it's trying to see if there are any uh, serious organisational failures that amounted to a failure of duty of care to all those residents in the tower. That is where this inquiry at the moment is focused. So, as they say in that statement that they've sent to the residents, an individual from both those organisations, the council and the TMO, a very senior figure, no doubt, either still employed or possibly one of those who has resigned since, will be questioned as the representative of the council and as the representative of the TMO. Those individuals, I am told, will be questioned under caution. So, it is a criminal investigation. I can't stress how serious this is. But that does not mean that individuals 
cannot be charged if the investigation finds their own individual failures led to those awful events six weeks ago. Simon Israel. After the Grenfell Tower fire, such was the visceral shock and rage and grief that residents, indeed people up and down the country for that matter, demanded that those accountable be held responsible. That was always, of course, a matter for the police and prosecutors. But tonight, in a dramatic twist in this story, the police said there are grounds to suspect corporate manslaughter offences may have been committed by the council and its tenant management company. The council's leader said it would cooperate in every way it could. Only a few weeks into the enormous task of gathering evidence from a potential crime scene which is 24 floors high, police say at this stage they think they know of at least one offence that was committed here and who may have been responsible for it. In a letter addressed to people directly affected by the tragedy, the police say that after an initial assessment, they have today notified the Royal Borough of Kensington and Chelsea and the tenant management organisation that there are reasonable grounds to suspect that each organisation may have committed the offence of corporate manslaughter. For the police to go public about where their suspicions lie at this very early stage of their investigation is, to say the least, unusual. They are clearly keenly aware that their inquiry is taking place in a neighbourhood where faith in the authorities is very low and demand for answers very high. The pressure for results is greatest when it comes from those who lost loved ones in the tower. At a memorial service in West London this afternoon, the Archbishop of York preached for a thorough investigation. During the inquiry or the investigation, no stone should be left unturned. <laughs> those being remembered at the service included Mary Mendy and Khadija Say a mother and daughter who died in the fire. Among the people who grieve for them, there is a yearning for the facts. She is going to be missed so much by all these kids who are sitting here. They're still having nightmares about what happened to my aunt. We just want the truth. We want to find out what happened to my aunt and Khadija, how they died and why they died, because we find their death so unnecessary. We want justice for them, but before that, we just want to find out the truth. Grenfell Tower will be covered in a protective wrapping next month to help with the forensic examination of the scene. The site manager estimates that the block will be demolished towards the end of next year. The investigators want to show they're making progress, but theirs is a complex job and it will be finished long after this building has ceased to stand. And Geraint is here now. Let's maybe start at the beginning with this. Corporate manslaughter, what does that really mean? It is a charge of manslaughter which is brought against a corporation or a big organisation. According to the law, it is brought if failings by that organisation are thought to have caused a person's death and amount to a gross breach of the duty of care owed to that person by the corporation. Now, you can't send an organisation to prison, so the punishment for a corporate manslaughter conviction is a fine. There's no limit on that fine. The highest one we found a record of is for £600,000, but it's up to the judge in the event of a conviction. In the court of a corporate manslaughter inquiry, representatives, representatives from the corporations are interviewed by the police under caution, and evidence might be found of uh, wrongdoing by individuals, and they may face charges as a result of that as individuals. But that is not what the police are talking about today. OK, that's very clear. And on you know, down they've been down there today. What is the reaction of locals and residents? Well, tonight we've had a statement from Justice for Grenfell, which speaks for many of the bereaved and the uh, survivors. They've welcomed the news, and in a slight change of tone tonight, I think, Tom, they say that they believe the announcement will go some way to rebuilding trust between the community and the authorities, but the group says it still wants to see individuals named, charged and put on trial and a corporate manslaughter prosecution won't do that. All right, thank you very much yeah, indeed for now. I've been getting away with it 